Hello there, it's Cassie. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I have a couple of cards that I made using a bunch of products from my favorite things. But to start off, I'm gonna do some ink blending and I'm doing this on the Distress Wood Grain Cardstock by Tim Holtz or Ranger. And I'm pulling out my ink blending tools. These are the mini ink blending tools and I have my pads on two by two simple stories. And then I just have those attached to my wall so they're easy to access. And uh, so I'm going to start off using the ground or gathered twigs and I'm just going to sponge that all over and I'm not really that concerned about it being uneven because this is a wood grain cardstock. So it, you know, if I wanted this to look like a tree, it's going to be a little bit uneven and that's kind of what I'm going for. So I'm just going to keep taking that gathered twigs and I will just put that all over that background. I'm actually going to do it on two backgrounds. And when I'm happy with that coverage, then I'll switch over to using ground espresso just on the edges. So this is a much darker brown and I'm using the Distress Oxide inks. Uh, and because this wood grain cardstock is a Distress product, I can put some water on it. So once I'm done doing all of my blending on the outside of these pieces of cardstock, I'm actually going to take my Distress sprayer and I'm going to flick some water all over those backgrounds. So I'll just take it out and I'll flick it. I find that I get the best, at least the kind that I want to get, the kind of flicks I want, just by taking the, the lid off and flicking it that way. I'll let that sit and then I'll wipe it up. And it's just very subtle, but I do like that. Now I'm gonna move on to using some ground espresso uh, distress paint. I'm gonna put this in my little makeshift splatter box and I will splatter that paint all over the back of those backgrounds. And in the process, I'm actually making another smaller background, and I will show you the little bonus card that I do later on with that piece that's basically done the exact same way, just a little bit smaller. I'm putting some Expressit cardstock into my Mini Misty, and I've pulled out the bear from the My Favorite Things Wild Woodland stamp set, and I'll have everything linked down below if I can find everything. So if you're interested in any of the, ob or the products that I'm using today, just head down to the description box below and I will have those listed. And I'm going to stamp it out four times. There is a method to my madness. I'm stamping it out four times. And just trying to move that around so that I can get four all on this piece of cardstock. And then I'll get ready to start coloring. I'm stamping that with Memento Tuxedo Black ink on that Express It cardstock because those are good for Copic coloring, which is alcohol ink. I'm going to start off by coloring just the heads of these first top two. And I'm using the color E23. And I started out staying in the lines, but then I started to realize that I had planned to fussy cut these right on their edges. So it really wouldn't have been necessary to you know, stay in the lines as much as I was. And you can tell I kind of get a little bit loose here. Not as much as I do when I start to color the bottom bears. But then I'm gonna move on to using that darker brown. And this is where I'm putting in my shading. And I'll just put a little bit of shading on the outside because the front of his muzzle would be a little bit lighter. And then I'll do the same thing on the other bear. We are in the midst of moving. I have all these um, videos scheduled. So I am in the throes of packing and having my house packed up. And we also have a graduation thrown right in the center of that. So we are planning to move out of El Paso. Uncle Sam says it's time to move on. So we are headed to Alabama, which we're pretty excited about. So in the midst of... <laughs> My daughter graduating high school and us getting ready to move, I went ahead and decided to plan out all of these videos so that you had something to look at if you were so curious to come back. And I didn't want anybody thinking, what happened to her? So that is where I'm at. So here you can see I'm starting to get a little looser, obviously. And at first I was like, oh, I'll just color the, the bodies. I do realize later on I do need to color the, the head of the bear. I just don't need to worry about Sh uh, shadowing the head of the bear because it's going to get covered. So I'm just using that that darker brown, just adding shadowing where I think it might be. Like I said, not being real careful with the lighter brown just because I'm going to do fussy cutting right on the line. 
And so then I'll take that lighter brown and I will blend that out. Just a little bit. It's obviously not perfect blending or shadowing or where the shadowing would be, but that's okay. It gives you the illusion that there is, you know, he's a little bit more than just a flat bear. And then this is where I remember that I probably need to color his head. So I'll go ahead and pull out that color again and just fill it in. It doesn't need to be perfect because it's just going to get covered. And I'll show you why later because it's my favorite way of making an interactive card. I've grabbed out the wonky stitch circle stacks dies from my favorite things and I've cut out two circles using white cardstock. And then I did, didn't get it on film, but I cut out the cause for celebration dies. That's the happy birthday die that you see there. It's called cause for celebration. I cut that out three times using some blue cardstock and then I um, put those all on top of each other. I used my Sizzix Sidekick to cut those out. And I also did it with some white cardstock and also some pink glitter cardstock. And I, I, I combined all three of those so that they would be a little bit more like chipboard. I've taken my distress panel and I have glued that down to a card base, just a white card base there. And I'm doing that with the second one as well. Because this is where we start to do all the assembly. And then I'll take my little circle, because we're ready, and I'll use my white glue and I will tack down both of my circles using the glue. And then I'll get ready to start attaching my sentiments as well. To do so, I'm using my reverse tweezers. These are some very vital tools, especially when you're attaching little pieces or needing to hold little pieces. So I'll pick that up with my reverse tweezers and I'll use that same liquid glue just on spots that are, you know, that I need tacked down. I don't put it all over the background, just mostly on the bigger pieces. And then I'll tack that down. And I'll do the same with the blue. Now, like I said, these are three of the die cuts stacked on top of each other. And I did save the eye for the birthday, but I just, I didn't attach them or stack them up just yet. So what I'll end up doing is I'll use my crystal katana to pick up each of those little blue, because I saved all of them, which you could have only, I mean, I could have just done the one. It wouldn't have been that big of a deal, but I had saved all three. I didn't lose them. And so I'm just stacking each of those on top of each other, making sure that I have the good coverage there with the glue and it's not seeping out the side. I went ahead and did that with that same uh, pink glitter happy birthday as well. And now I'm going to start adhering my little bears. So the first bear, he's going to have a little pink bow that I just hand cut out. I'm putting that right onto her head and then I'm going to attach the full bears. <laughs> I'll attach those with the glue. I thought about doing foam tape, but there is going to be some dimension because I'm pulling out some action wobblers. And if you have not seen these before, these are pretty fantastic. I love these. I have like a whole stack of them. I bought a bunch of them because you just never know when you want to add a little bit of action wobble to your card. So I will just go ahead and attach those right over those faces. As you can see, this is why it wasn't necessary to go ahead and do any shading on those flat bears. And now I'll peel off the backing paper of the top part that is exposed. And then I will attach the appropriate bear, which is the little one with the bow on her head. And then I will attach the other one to the other action wobbler. And that's the little boy bear. So I'll put his little head down and then I'll attach his little bow underneath his chin, just using a little bit of that liquid glue. And then that'll finish off these cards. So isn't that great? You just, ugh, their little heads wobble and they're flat and easy to mail. So I love these. Now I said I did make another card just using some extra pieces. And so this is what it looks like. I use the My Favorite Things Birthday Bears for my sentiment. Those little images are from the Wild Woodland stamp set. And I use the Tri-Vertical Stitched Window. That's how those are all like that. And that's that other card. So there's the, the ver Tri-Vertical Stitched Window and then the Birthday Bears. 
So if you liked this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. If you have any questions, leave those down in the description box below. I would be happy to answer those. And as always, thank you so much for stopping by.